You thought I was feeling you? Oh my God, what is that? Hey, what's up? It's Jax, and today I have a juicy video for you. We're gonna compare Cardi B to the new girl in the block, Ice Spice. I'm curious, do you think that Ice is the new Cardi? Is she an industry plant? Maybe? There's a lot of reasons why someone might think that Ice Spice is the new Cardi B. I'm surprised nobody talked about this already. Today I prepared five points where we're gonna compare Cardi to Ice Spice and figure out if she really is the new Cardi B. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's compare Cardi to Ice Spice. Number one, they are both Dominican. <laughs> I know this is really simple, but come on. They both are about the same complexion. They are both Dominican, half black, or like a mixture. What's your background? Like, where are you from? I'm from New like York. Like your nationality. Like oh, my dad is black, and my mom is Dominican. Oh, okay. Are so you black? Number two, both ladies grew up in the Bronx. Hello there, my name is Cardi B, and I am from the Bronx. What's your upbringing like, you know, being from the Bronx? Um, it was lit. I mean, you know, it's hectic. Right now, it's hectic. Can't get any more similar than that, right? They both grew up in the Bronx. Ice Spice, I was just researching. Her parents live in the same block, but different apartment buildings. So she grew up between the two apartment buildings, being co-parented. But yeah, it's it's like she basically grew up the same area as Cardi B. Let's talk about age. Cardi was 24 when she released her first hit, Bodak Yellow. And Ice Spice is currently 23, but she was 22 when her first single, Munch, came out. She has a very unusual birthday. She was born January 1st, 2000, right at the Y2K. <laughs> now, the major difference between the girls with their first singles is that Cardi's first single, Bodak Yellow, broke a couple records. Cardi B has knocked Taylor Swift out of the number one spot. Look what you made her do with Bodak Yellow coming in at number one. She becomes the first female rapper to hit number one solo since Lauryn Hill did it in 1998. It's a pretty big accomplishment. It also was the first single by an African-American woman to be certified as diamond. That means that it sold over 10 million units. It went platinum about 11 times and then it went diamond. If you readjust things for where we are today in culture, then it's arguable that they could be on the same level for their beginning stages. Four, let's talk about personalities. This is where they vary the most. Cardi B has a very infectious, bubbly, over the top dramatic personality. She's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> That's why we all love her. I think people who weren't even into rap music just became fans of her instantly just by the way that she, um, you know, loosens up everyone. Now, Ice, she doesn't really got that. I feel like she's much more mysterious. She is a little more calm. But I think that we do have a, a spot open for that kind of vibe. Obviously, I love the different styles, different tempos. As far as sex appeal, Cardi B, she was really good at balancing her sex appeal with her personality. Ice Spice, she doesn't really have the balance yet. When she turns around and bends over and does all that, it's just, it's cute, don't get me wrong. But I'd be sitting there thinking like, what am I supposed to be feeling right now? I'm vibing to the song and next minute it feels like I'm watching porn or something. <laughs> I kind of wish that she would warm us up a little more with her personality before she gets into all of that. But I will go ahead and say that I wouldn't compare Ice Spice to Nikki so much as I would compare it to Cardi. Which brings me to my fifth point. They both are so good at the one-liners. How can I lose if I was already chose? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought I was feeling you? 
<laughs> you said that a little too spicy. <laughs> It's the one-liners for me. Cardi B and Ice, they are really talented at these one-liners. Nicki is sort of like an assault weapon on the track. She just keeps going and going and going. Every, every single thing she says hits you. I was listening to Nicki Minaj setting up for this video. I think we need to abandon all the negativity in female rap. But at the same time, you got to recognize that, hey, this is rap and... The drama and all the politics is a part of the charm of the profession. So it's interesting to speculate how this is all going to play out. Going back to Ice and Cardi, yeah, I'm surprised not a lot of people are seeing this evident comparison. My theory is that they are really similar, almost too similar. It almost does feel like it's either an industry plant or it feels like it's a situation where one of them was inspired by the other and not really saying it or not even aware of it because how can you be from the same place same background and you're not even going to give any credit to like a fellow female rapper from your own background that doesn't make sense so obviously there could be something there pretty soon we'll know if there's a valid comparison or a competition between the two depending on how the features go if Nikki tries to do a feature with Ice, that's gonna be interesting. That would mean that Nikki doesn't see her as much of a like adversary on the same level, but more so like a complimenting artist. When that energy is there of like being in competition, you're not gonna see the feature. So if we don't see a feature between Cardi and Ice Spice, it's safe to say that they recognize that they're similar enough to the point where they're not really gonna to work together. They have a lot more in common than they do differences. <laughs>